Hello, everybody. Oh, my head's uh, cut off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is uh, to let you know that we had just come. Well, we didn't. This weekend was the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Look at that. Got these cool badges. And one thing Mysteria did was she collected uh, tons of pins. There you go. There's one. And also, of course, I got a lot. We also each got a collector coin. Yeah. And on the other side, it says. Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2015. So that was really cool. All right. So would you like to go with the first thing you got? Okay. I got this. And that was for free. Did yeah. The ladies got you too. And for me, uh, they had some Atari games for 50 cents each. So I got, bear with me, Squeeze Box, Warlords, great game, 3D Tic Tac 2, which is not so great. Also, we got Burger Time. There we go. And Kool-Aid Man. That's my little, that's my little uh, daughter. See, isn't she cute? And Adventures of Tron. All right, what else did you get? Oh, go ahead. You got uh, the Pop Vinyl Thor. She's a big Thor fan. And then um, uh, I got, for $5 all, this was $2, and that's Defenders of the Crown. The game, uh, the cartridge is in, not in great shape, but I enjoyed the, uh, the game back in the day. Also, Outrun 2019, which is only... In let's see, this year is twenty four years. So we're gonna have to see cars like that in four years. Ooh. No. <laughs> All right. What else did you get? I I got Pokemon Black version two. And you got all these. Dress up. I don't know if you can see that well. And victorious. Victorious. All for $30. This so, one looks actually $30. I so got, got oh, one. Go I got one, two for free. Yeah. And I. Also, um, funny story, every time I go to, every time I go to uh, the expo, I have to get uh, a Star Trek game. Last, uh, uh, first time I went, I got Star Trek TNG for the Genesis, and then last year I got uh, Star Trek for the Atari 2600. <laughs> And this year I got Star Trek TNG for the Game Boy, which was four dollars. And for three I got Space Spartans for the Intellivision. As that way I can play my Intelli voice and see if it works. Yes, I know. Nobody. All right, your turn. I actually got. This Miss Pac-Man from Pro Jerry. He's kind of a cool dude. Who's 
Yeah, yeah. and she had asked a, a, a question on his panel Sunday, and he was giving out um, games, so that was really cool. Uh, speaking of um, YouTube celebrities, uh, hand me her. Sorry about that. Uh, Ian and oh, Pat. Boy. Ian Pat, thank you. Also had a, a little booth where Ian was selling some of his games, and for three dollars, actually bought both of them for seven. I bought pinball from Ian, which I really enjoy pinball games on. And I do remember playing this. This one is, I, I, it's Rockin' Ball. Sorry for the lighting. Um, it's pretty good. I, I really don't remember much about it. I do think I did play it. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go again. Oh. Um, they had Atari Age had a booth there and for $25 I got Galactopus keep your minds out of the gutters boys <laughs> but yeah and I really like the manual it reminds me of the old manuals it's actually I read a little bit of it the introduction it's kind of funny uh, but yeah you 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 shoot at octopus from outer space, octopi from outer space, and it's actually a real fun game. Um, let's see, what else did I do? And I think that was it for uh, Saturday, yeah. So, Sunday, we went to the Pro Jared and she got that Pac-Man game. She also got... How about showing that for one first? This... Uh, a free poster? Yeah. Rio poster? From the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo. And I think that's a cool poster. Alright. Now, with me... I traded... I did a trade with this one place. And I traded Ogre Battle for... Um, Adventures of Batman and Robin. Uh, I haven't played it yet. I've heard it's a real good game. Also, Hopefully it works. Tetris. I actually found that game. That's right. My daughter found it for me. And also, uh, I'm going to go with... When we first got there, I had brought... Mysterious DS, but apparently we forgot any games for it. Yay. Yeah. So we went and we bought. Um, I don't remember exactly how much this was. I think it was five dollars for all, all. Yeah, it was. We got Puss in Boots. Complete. Uh, we got uh, Pogo Island. Don't worry about the phone. And we also got Zuzu Pets, which I think you, you can have because I think I already have that one. So, yay! I get a game. <laughs> and then, um, one of the booths had manuals on the bot on the, um, in a tub, and I went to search for them, and I did find a couple manuals that I needed, but I also found some other things, like some demo discs, like the, um, there we go, like the um, Interactive CD Volume 8. You should went up. Also found a, an Underground. <laughs> PlayStation Underground Disc. Uh, yeah. Actually, it looks kind of cool. Yeah. I actually like the back. Yeah, so do I. Also, 
And this 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 whole entire set was for thirty dollars. Shark. Uh, Game Shark for the PS One. Uh, also another demo disc, and these were you'd find these in the system. You know, you buy a brand new system. Instead of getting a game, you'd get a disc that had tons of demo discs. But these were the reasons why I went through the uh, the box. Uh, got the manual and the back for Spyro Year of the Dragon. And I've been looking for this one for a while. Uh, the manual for Digimon World 2 and uh, alone he wanted $15 for just that one. So I think I made a good deal. Now I've got a complete set of Digimon World 2 and that's an, actually a real fun game if you can afford it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to let uh, my daughter go. Um, I got this. Right. Look at that poster. Now what was really funny about it is all through the expo she had been going to his booth and been looking all through it. And I think they had a little talk and she just said something about, oh I'm interested only in Thor, I like Thor. Well about the end of the uh, Sunday, end of the expo, he, he calls her over and hands her this picture autographed for free. No money. I thought that was really cool. Alright, yeah. so I got a couple other things. Uh, I bought this for, I think it was $25. The original DS. Now I wanted to buy it so I could have uh, uh, something to play my um, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Colors, and but the problem is the original ones can only play the Game Boy Advance, so I still need to look for a, a DS Lite, so I can have this. So when I buy a Game Boy or Game Boy Color game, I can have something to test it out and play. Now, for the last, oh, it also came with a brand new AC uh, adapter. I thought that was really cool. Um, last hour was really cool. And that's the when you get great deals. All these for 50 cents. I got Legend of Zorro for the Game Boy Color, Street Skater for the PS1, also Detective Barbie, and don't judge me, I have a daughter, duh, Vegas Dream, and any NES that you get for less than five bucks is worth it. That's what I think. Also, Wheel of Fortune. No manual, but no biggie. But yeah, so that's all we got from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, oh, yes. Um, <laughs> did you enjoy yourself? Yes, very much. Uh, it was really fun. We got to meet a lot of uh, YouTubers and just played a, a lot from the arcades. So, yeah, we had fun. And we want to thank Portland, P, the PRG staff for just a wonderful 10th anniversary. So, uh, we're going to say bye-bye. Um, I'm going to say my usual thing. Uh, this is Sci-Fi WB saying take care and play, play on. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yes. All right. Here we go.